Hey guys, and welcome back to Regrexit, a country who saw the train crossing barriers coming down, but decided they could make it. They dashed across to get across, but unfortunately, the vehicle developed a technical issue and got stuck in the middle with a train bearing down at 120 miles an hour. Always check your vehicle before you leave home. And also, welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you for all your messages you sent me, and a special thanks to everyone who signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed with so much people that signed up, so thank you so much for that. I'll go through all your messages, I'll answer as many as I can, but I will write all your messages for definite. So, we had Interlake Britain yesterday, um, big trouble. Right? You know, I think that was out in, in a couple of locations. But you know, you know, I see, you know, I see the members of the public once again, you know, getting hands on with these people. And one bloke in particular, yeah, who went up and um and sprayed some of the people with um some ink, right? Now you see, I'll tell you something, yeah. He, you're, he's only lucky that I wasn't there because you know, I, you know, I, I want to see you go and attack pensioners and women in front of me. Right, you know that's that's what I'd really like. That's what I'd really like to see. Do you know what I mean? I can't believe that other people, other men, were stood there or, or in their cars or whatever, and they what and they witnessed that and didn't go over and intervene and say, "Listen, you know what? No, 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 no. You can't be doing that." You know, these people, these these people are pensioners, and there's women there as well. Do you know what I mean? I know they're getting on your nerves, but you know what? You can't be doing that shit. Right now, I don't know if you saw the budget yesterday. Probably most of, most people probably did. But obviously, you know, it's, it's, it's always going to be a kick in the bollocks for the working classes, you know, because anything that anything, any raise that you've give that you was given, yeah, they've already wiped it out from 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 weeks or months ago anyway. Do you know what I mean? With all the new taxes and you know the food, you know, the food prices and the gas prices and petrol prices, so yeah, they've really, you know, they've already wiped out whatever. Do you know what I mean? You know, but the the piece that I really want to pick up on, yeah, is um these internal flights you know make you know taking the duty off of internal flights to make them cheaper you think well how the hell right does that help with our carbon footprint how does that help with our emissions right you know in the same way that you know boris johnson earlier this week talking about you know how plastic recycling is is, is a load of garbage right but you know so, so these people yeah they seem to be sending out the completely the wrong message Right? But they're telling us, you know what, you have to like, you have to do this and you have to do that. You know, you, you need to go and buy yourself a, a heat pump that's like, that, that costs 12 grand, right? Uh, you know, or you have to get, go and get yourself a like, an electric car or a hybrid car. Do you know what I mean? And all these type of things, right? But then they're lowering the cost of flying. And I'm saying, well, uh, you know what, shouldn't, seriously, shouldn't you be saying, well, you know what, actually what we're going to do, yeah? is we're going to lower the cost of train travel right and you know so so there's going to be less flights say to go to 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 like from london to to leeds or to liverpool or to derby or you know you know or to or to ireland right or to scotland right you know it should be showing you should be lowering the train fares so you can get to these places easier do you know what i mean because that that would surely be lowering the carbon footprint rather than putting more planes in the sky because that's you know because once they you know if they if they're talking about lowering the duty right because you know it, it's probably going to cost you probably be cheaper for you to travel on a on a plane right to go to Scotland rather than go there by train <laughs> it'd probably be cheaper on the plane that that is just the truth right so if they're taking the duty off that so then more people are going more people are going to start doing that but then you know it's then it's not really working class people who just use them to, them them forms of travel anyway so and they've taken you know they've taken some of the duty off champagne so while then people are flying over us you know, in their in their fancy private jets right you know going from you know going, going from manchester to liverpool right they could be drinking champagne as well a lot cheaper so you, I, I don't know if you've seen like heard again yeah the um the raw you know they 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 seem to have backtracked this is all along the this is all along the same lines as the as the the, the emissions and and all this type of thing right? but they seem to have backtracked right on um putting raw sewage into our waters which is you know can't be very environmentally friendly Right. But you know that these guys yeah, have put have done it four hundred thousand times. 
right? Now, I don't know what space of time that's over, but I hope that's not over a year, because if that's over a year, yeah, that means that these guys are polluting these every every minute of every day. They're just, they're, they're just, they're just doing it, and, and they're only supposed to do that, yeah, if it's um, a real emergency, right? So that means really heavy rain like they're having, like they're having at the moment up somewhere. I can't remember where it was, actually. Right? But that's, that's the only time they're supposed to really do it. But these guys are just doing it on a reckless basis. Right? And now the government says to them, please, please, please don't put raw sewage in our waters. Please don't. Please. Be nice. Don't put raw sewage in our waters. Please. That's what the government's saying to them. Do you know what I mean? These guys are just like this. You know? But you see, here's the problem, right? I always tell you guys, right? When you privatise the shit in your country, it always comes back to bite you in the fucking ass, right, and look how this has come back to bite us in the ass now, because, yeah, yeah, these, um, these water companies, yeah, they need billions of pounds of investments, right, that's what they need, right, they haven't got the money, they've taken all the money, because, because, but from, you know, but I think it's from 1999 or 96, right, until now, they've given out 60 billion pounds to their shareholders, so that's where all the money's gone, but now you're going to ask them, you know what, we need you to come up with billions of pounds to, to, to fix up the infrastructure. They're just going to hand it back. They're just going to say, yeah, but um, thanks, but no thanks. This is gov they're just going to say, this is government work. That's all they'll say. Because, they, they, you, know, there's, you know, there's not many private companies that's going to have that type of money, yeah, and, it, and, and, expect, and, and want to throw that type of money, right, into, into this type of thing. They're not going to want to do that. You know, these guys, you know, these guys, yeah, want to be like, you know, these guys want to be buried with their money, right? <laughs> you know, they want to be like some pharaohs. Right, and have their money, have all their money, and all their and all their workers, and all that who built the tombs with them down there with all their gold. Right, but if I ever know where they are, I'm going to dig the motherfuckers up. Right, but that's how these guys want to be. They don't, they haven't got that money to go and spend on on infrastructure like that. You're crazy. Where the fuck are they going to get that from? <laughs> right. So now the government's going to have to take that back over. They they're going to have no choice. They're going to, have to take that back over. Because the minute they start putting pressure on, just these guys will just do like what the what the um, what all the rail companies do. They just hand it back. They just hand back. They just hand it back. Then there you go. Take it back. <laughs> right? We can't deal with that. Right? Look, look how all the gas companies have all gone bankrupt. Right? So that that just shows you, yeah, that when you are privatizing, yeah, the natural industries in your country, it never works because all these guys want to do is take the money out. Right, but these money, these these com these companies, they need that investment. They need that investment, right, to keep the infrastructure work up and running properly. Right, a lot of these guys are still running off Victoria Victorian um, infrastructure. That's the reason why they're having all these problems. They should have invested, the, you know, the the sixty billion that has gone to shareholders. That money should have really been been invested, yeah, into new ways, right, of dealing with sewage. Right. You know, you can turn. You know, some type of sewage, some sewage you can turn back into energy, right? So that's this is what they should have been doing. But no, you know, these guys just want to, you know, they just want to drive Bentleys and live in Monaco, right? With taxpayers' money, always taxpayers' money, right? And look, the person who implemented most of this is already dead and gone because that's what happens with these politicians, right? They you know they implement all this nonsense, right? And then by the time by the time it's all fucked up. Right, they're dead, they're gone. Right, it's, it's 30, 40 years later, they're dead, they're gone, finished. Right, and you know, and at, at the time they say, oh, well, you know, unfortunately, this is where we are. Even though there was people at the time saying, no, you know what, right, all this privatization is not good, it's not going to work. Right, but all those people, they're all dead, and they've left, they've left us with all the shit, all the fucking crap to clear up. That's what they've left us with. And then we've got stupid ass people, right, voting against their own interest in this country. Yeah. And you know who I'm talking to? I'm talking to you stupid benefit Tories, yeah, and you working class Tories. And you people who have no right to be voting Tories. You're only voting Tories because you're fucking racist. Right? And all of this is all your fault. It's your fault that they're putting raw sewage in our waters. It's your fault, yeah, that, that, that all the industries in this country are destroyed. It's your fault. Right? All of you, all of you who voted 
Brexit and all you people who vote for the Tories. All of this shit is your fault. Look how the Tories are saying, oh, you know, we're going to take, you know, we're going to take the schools back to like, you know, the, 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 the levels of like 2010. So well, what the fuck are you talking about? We're in 2021. You can't take it back to the levels of 2020 when we, when we had a la our last Labour government. Right? Th this is what these this is who these guys are. They've been in power all this time, and now, right? They've kicked out. You know, they've, they've done all this nonsense, and now oh, we're bringing it back down to them. Shut up, man. And let's speak about some Brexit very quickly. Lord Wolfson's at it again. Lord Wolfson, yeah, one of the chief Brexiters, right? A man who was behind Brexit all the way, and now he's crying again. Right, uh, you know, but he's really coming out, and you know, he's talking about like the the, the government's like immigration stance and all these type of things, right? And he's really going at them. I, he, I mean, when I say Lord Wilson's actually going at them, like he's talking about like he's talking about like the the um the, you know the, the the workers that are needed in all the other industries. He didn't even mention he didn't even really mention his industry. He mentioned all the other industries. That's how that's how the manager's like. You know what? I'm gonna work. I want to do this. I'm gonna work this crowd, right? But you know, for people like that, yeah, it's too late for you to be coming out now, right? Because I don't see how, yeah, you can be a lord plus, right? You could be the head of next, and you couldn't see this shit. How the fuck couldn't you see it, right? When you've got when you've got people like me, right? Who I can't know as much of, about your business as you. But how the hell did I know that this would be devastating for your business and you didn't know, Lord Wolfson? How the fuck does that work, right? You know, it, it, I just find the whole situation just completely ridiculous. These people, you was warned, you know, and you called it Project Fair, right? Right now, it's regrets it. That's mine. Uh, so this is what these guys are all doing. Regrets it. Yeah. And you know, it really does serve, I just say, you know what, it really does serve you people, right? You know, Lord Wilson, I have no, no, not one piece of compassion for you because you done this to yourself, right? You was the stupid one to be voting for Brexit and convincing people to vote for Brexit. How stupid can you be, Lord Wilson? Anyway, guys, this is by any means necessary. I'm GMC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.